striking the resemblance to the Hollywood of the late 30s. In that enchanted land, good triumphs over evil um, in breathtaking color, and people never lose their innocence, least of all little Dorothy from Kansas. But quite a bit of water has flown under the bridge since Dorothy first flew over that rainbow. In the uh, intervening years, Oz and Hollywood have made a star of Dorothy, made her famous, made her grow up. To the very talented stardom comes fast. Learning to live with it sometimes takes a little longer. No one knows that better today than the girl who's singing has a quality of heartbreak, ours or hers, the great Judy Garland. <laughs> permanent possession of it. Uh, can we talk tonight about eight, about a silly little thing? Yes, and I do not know. This is, some of them call this, I'm reviewed this show, they'll say that Punchy and Judy, now watch, they'll do it. I know those cats, you know. But anyhow, she, what a great laugher. <laughs> she laughs, boy, at red ties, they say. She'll, uh, she'll have like a... Talkers and children's, but no one ever heard her talk. I mean, no one, no, <laughs> professionally. Um, listen, tell them about the days at MGM. This some of the stories about Mickey and Liz Taylor and those people. Just to tell the stories you want to. Well, uh, I hardly know where to start. Um, tell me what you said about Liz. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't anything like no, that. No, no. Uh, 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 I, you know, she's this, this mother sort of femme fatale. Yes. I can always just remember her as a, as a girl with a lot of chipmunks and horses and she was only about three feet high and two years old at Metro. I can't imagine this marvelous sort of kid. She was, you know, that shows my age. Well, Liz has grown up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I laugh. She's Liz, she always takes a little well, with a chipmunks. strange group, you know. Well, you know, what was in that group? Well, it was a terrible classroom in the first place when you think of all of us in one group. But Elizabeth Taylor, <laughs> in the schoolroom, you know, we went to school. It was Elizabeth Taylor, and we did, believe it or not. And Lana Turner, and Mickey Rooney, and Freddie Bartholomew, and me, and Deanna Durbin. <laughs> that was one room? In one room, that was all it was. And, and, uh... We all turned out as well. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in Metro? What did they do? I don't... That was, uh... Were you kids scared? scared? Were you scared? No, no. Not at all. <laughs> we were fine. Have you seen it since we've come out? We were a very peculiar group. <laughs> oh, no. Boy, you sure got over North America. <laughs> what happened in Metro? What did they do? I don't... That was, uh... Were you kids scared? scared? every five minutes by having to raise her hand in school to go out and smoke. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, it was the yeah, idea. How was Vicky? And he went out and smoked, too. <laughs> well, how far did you go to school in the, that kind of system? We went to school, clear through the... Uh, High school? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, they, well, we, we got old enough, they finally sprung us. We yeah. didn't pass. <laughs> did you kids know when you were that age and... Did you know you were big stars, or was that kept from oh, you? Why were you oh, frightened? Because you were frightened. Yes, you yes, were scared. Who were you scared of? Everybody? Everybody. 
But didn't you know you were no. mixed on Earth? No. No, they didn't let us know. We were kept under wraps. Who else do you remember? Listen, how'd you start? Did Jess already give you an